Okay, everybody, this is Keith Silva Sr. back with you again with the update on how this Power XL Vortex Pro air fryer works. Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do is, uh, well, first of all, I just barely set this up. I plugged it in, and this is what it looks like once you plug it in. You have a little power light on there, and that's it. It does beep when you do take out the tray. And uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to uh, put at least one part of this uh, pork steak in the tray for defrosting. Okay, so we're going to try to find the uh, button for defrost. And uh, as the meat is a bit frozen still, and see how this thing works. Uh, I really wish I would have had this defrosted earlier, uh, like yesterday, and then I could have actually put it in there and cooked it. But we're going to attempt to do the whole gamut here. We're going to put it in there to try to defrost it and then once it's defrosted enough we're going to go ahead and try to power air fry cook it. Okay so with that being said let's get right into it. So we're going to open this up and you're going to hear a beep. Okay and there's the tray all empty right and there's a another drip tray underneath it uh, underneath this tr uh, tray that's there. Okay so let's go ahead and drop in our pork steak okay now I didn't season it or anything right now because I'm only going to defrost it right now I'm not trying to cook it so there you go it beeps again so now we're going to turn it on for the first time and see what uh, menu we have here what selections okay so right now it's set at a 375 but we're going to defrost so let me see if I can zoom in for you on these uh, icons. Let me see. I got This isn't the best tripod that I have right now. It is uh, one of my inexpensive ones. So it does have a tendency to creak and squeak and crack when I move it. So let's see. Let me see if I can get closer. See if I can zoom in on each of these for you. So there it is. One says preheat all the way to the top left. You have french fries. I don't know. It looks like cauliflower or some, some kind of vegetables. You have an egg, chicken. On this side there's a timer. There's up and down arrow key. There's a power button. A light button. Of course in the middle shows you the temperature. Alright. What's on this side? You have fish. Something. Oh defrost. That button on the top right looks like a defrost button. You have a fish uh, button. Pizza or a pie cake but it does have a timer button it does have an up and down uh, arrow buttons and it has a temperature button or an icon okay so let's zoom back out so now you see what buttons are on the air fryer this is the uh, power xl vortex pro air fryer Okay, so we're going to want to defrost, right? So we saw that the button was, it says shake. <laughs> okay, shake. So I have to shake. Maybe it's good. Let me take this back. Oh, shoot, I did something. Let me, maybe it's safe because it's not even. Okay, let me put it in the middle. So I put it in the middle. Okay, let's go defrost. So it's going to defrost at 180. Okay, there it goes automatically. Look at that. It says 15 minutes. So it's running at 15 minutes at 180 in a defrost mode. So you're witnessing it for the first time along with me here of how this thing operates. And from what I observed when I took out the tray earlier when I made the unboxing, up on top of this thing, it has a circular coiled metal like if you had an electric stove you know the kind of uh, metal you see on an electric stove that it that's what it has underneath here so what it's doing is it has a fan that circulates the air that becomes very hot from that electric burner that's up top there and then it circulates the heat so that it tries to cook it evenly throughout because there's hose and ventilation throughout this whole basket so there you go it's uh, going to it went, it's already uh, past a minute there. 
And uh, like I mentioned a little while ago, I'm only trying to defrost this meat right now until uh, it is defrosted enough to where I can cook it. So as you can see, automatically, as soon as I push that defrost button, it went into a 180 Fahrenheit on its own with a 50-minute count, uh, clock counter. So there you go. So we're going to do a time lapse here because we're not. I'm not going to uh, make you sit here for uh, 13 more minutes watching this uh, the same thing over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and then once it's done. I'll come back and show you the results after the uh, the timer has stopped. Okay, so we'll be right back. And once again, oh, just a reminder: this is the uh, Vor uh, the Power XL Vortex Pro Air Fryer, purchased at J.C. Penney's here in Southern California for $119 plus tax. It was on sale originally priced at $220. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to record what it sounds like when it's defrosting. I had to open up the tray and move the meat a bit, and it beeps when it does that to let you know to shake it or move it. So we have seven minutes left for the defrosting of my pork steak. But I wanted to capture a video so you can hear the sound of it and uh, the speed levels it rises to and lowers to. The great thing about this is that unlike a microwave you could stand in front of this all day and just look into the window to see how your meal is coming along. Unlike the microwave, which uses radiation, it's not a good idea to stand in front of your microwave with your face in it, spewing out radiation, because the screen that's in there blocks most of it, but doesn't get all of the radiation that's coming out of the microwave window. So, not a good idea to step your face, put your face in the front of the microwave for many uh, a, a long length of time. With this is an air fryer. It uses heat and air, no radiation. So I'm going to put my light on so you can see a little bit, hopefully, the meat inside there, my pork steak. It's coming along. Um, I had to open the tray, like I said earlier, to move it. I wasn't going to come back until it was finished, but I just wanted to record a little bit of the sound of the process of the air fryer. Okay, once again, this is the uh, Power XL Vortex Pro air fryer, purchased at J.C. Penney's here in Southern California for $119 and tax. Uh, it was originally $220. It's brand new. I did the unboxing of it. You can check it out on one of my prior videos. We have four minutes left, so we'll come back now that you got to hear some of the sound of it, what it sounds like when it's running and when it's working. Four minutes left. So uh, we'll come back when it's finished and I'll show you the results of the defrosting. And then after the defrosting, I'm going to season my pork steak and then try to fully cook it and then taste it and let you know what I think about the whole process. So we'll be back. Thank you for joining us on this experience. Okay, everybody, we have one minute left to go, or less than a minute now, for the defrosting of my pork steak in our new Power XL Vortex Pro air fryer. This is an eight quart basket. and uh, you have a bunch of functions here you have reheat you have something here that looks like broccoli I guess vegetables french fries eggs I guess if you want a soft or hard-boiled egg you have chicken over here I guess it's pies or pizzas or pastries oh there you go okay so 
Yeah, yeah, I know. Quit beeping. Quit beeping. I, I wish I could turn that sound off. Okay, so there, oh, I'm sorry I got it so close. All right, so that's what it looks like coming out of the frost uh, at 180 Fahrenheit at uh, 15 minutes. So let me go ahead and get the fork. See if I could turn this around. Okay, so thank you for sticking around. I'm sorry I was gone for a while. So I seasoned the meat with my uh, garlic and pepper. So now what we're going to do is reinsert this and make sure that it's, uh, the meat is centered so it's not cooked. Put it back in our air fryer. Turn it on. And now we're going to select an icon for cooking. Instead of that being pies or something, that might be steak right there. 400, yep, that's for steak cooking. All right, so there we go. Let's see what Fahrenheit, it, yeah, 400 Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. And now it's going to go ahead and start uh, a cooking process. So it's going to get very hot in there. And uh, cook, not defrost. So hopefully with the light you can see the meat in there. I love that it has a window to it. Some air fryers don't have windows. You just have to put the meat or food or whatever you're cooking in there and then just guess that, you know, the machine is doing its job and that uh, it's good or not good and you always have to open up the tray to check. This way, you don't have to open it up and check all the time. You just look at the meat and see the progress and decide for yourself, like, yeah, I think that's done enough or it needs more and cook more or take it out. Okay? So there it is. We, uh put our pork steak back in after defrosting for 15 minutes on 180 Fahrenheit and now we are going to try fully cooking this meat at 400 Fahrenheit at, for 12 minutes. A minute has gone by now we only have 11 minutes left. Of course I'm not going to sit here videotaping for the whole 11 minutes watching the same thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, stop the video, come back, when it's done and then uh, we're going to review how this thing uh, cooks whether it's worth it or not okay so we'll be right back once again this is Keith Silva Sr. with the, our brand new Power XL Vortex Pro air fryer see you in a bit okay everybody we have only one minute left to go or a little less than one minute and the meat is cooking in there at full speed ahead at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, I'll be taking it out as soon as it starts beeping and then we're gonna see what the results are um, now just just to be fair the meat was uh, still frozen I had to defrost it for uh, 15 minutes at 180 degrees Fahrenheit first then um, I put it in there to cook uh, all the way so it's, uh, there you go, it says shutting off, it says off, uh, and then we're going to take a look at this meat in a little bit, as soon as it uh, shuts off. But uh, it was, um, there it goes, the beeping, okay, here we go, so let's see what we got. Okay, not bad looking, I can hear the, um, I can hear the juice sizzling in there, so... Okay, I put the meat back in there, the pork steak is back in there, and it is seasoned. And we're going to go ahead and uh, cook it some more because it uh, wasn't all the way done. It was still uh, red in the middle. So let's go ahead and power it back up. And put a full cook again for steak. I'm going to give it another 12 minutes. I might stop it before the 12 minutes is over uh, if it looks like it's uh, done enough. I don't want to overcook it. All right, everybody. As soon as it's done and we have a complete cooked pork steak, we'll come back and I'll show you the results. Okay, everybody, we have uh, less than a minute to go for our pork steak unveiling we are cooking this 
uh, meet for the first time in this brand new Power XL Vortex Pro air fryer. And uh, we just purchased this the, yesterday, the other day, March 13th, 2023. Okay, so it looks like it's coming along pretty good in there. Having a nice little burn, uh, burn edges there. Not burnt, but cooked edges. Uh, well, well done cooked edges. And it'll start beeping once it's uh, finished with the process. And I'll take uh, take the tray out, show you the meat, put it on a plate, and taste it, and let you know what I think. Okay, here we go. That's it. So, wow, look at that. I think that is outstanding. Nicely uh, fried, you know, with the air fryer. The edges, like I say, are uh, well done. Nice and crisp, maybe. I like that. This is pork steak, not pork chops. Okay, so I'm sure there's a lot of uh, juice underneath the tray. So let me go ahead and put this on a plate. Take a piece of it and taste it and let you know what I think. But as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, the meat looks very nice. And I had turned it over uh, uh, only once before this to let you know what the other side looks like. Okay, so let me put a piece here so I can taste it. Okay, let me dig in here. I plated a piece of it, and I'm going to cut a piece and taste it and see what we got. Oh, first let me show you what it looks like in the middle. Fairly well, uh, medium rare or, or medium well. Okay, let's taste it. Mmm. Wow. Very good. Hmm. So, coming from a raw piece of meat, frozen, just like this, to a cooked piece of meat, like this. Yummy. And it's seasoned with garlic and garlic pepper and pepper. It's already mixed by gel. This is delicious stuff. I recommend you using this and try, or at least trying it. And um, just so you know, the meat was still frozen, so I had to defrost it on 180 Fahrenheit at 15 minutes, turning it over after um, seven minutes, and then reinserting it, let it finish defrosting. And after I finished the frosting, I put the meat back in and put it on full cook for um, 12 minutes at 400 degree Fahrenheit. And then, um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to finish this piece that I took. Um, anyway, so, so I put it back in. And then uh, I cooked it for four, uh, 12 minutes at 400 degree Fahrenheit. And then um, it finished and it wasn't fully cooked. It was still red in the middle. Put it back in or turned the meat over, put it back in for another 12 minutes at 400 degree Fahrenheit. And this is the result. Very tasty meat. I seasoned it uh, with the, my favorite seasoning. And I love it. It's good. It works. It's, it's a brand new fryer. We, I've never tried one of these before, these air fryers. So, Sunshine, my Sunshine Kathy, I hope you enjoyed the video and the results of the meat. It came out tasty. It is done, not overdone. You could set the timer for more time to cook it more if you want. Uh, pretty much you can adjust this any way you want to. There's uh, up and down keys on this thing to where you can adjust the time that it spends in there. Uh, for more or less, or hotter, or less hotter. Uh, so there it is, everybody. There's uh, there's the meat. <laughs> Plated, a little piece of it. I'm going to get to town on eating the rest of this meat. And uh, here's the rest of it right here in the tray. Looking delicious. Yummy. Smells great. And it tastes great. So I hope you enjoyed this video of 
running through the paces of this brand new Power XL Vortex Pro air fryer that we just purchased. Uh, we got this at JC Penney's uh, yesterday, March 13th, 2023, on sale for $119 plus tax. Uh, it was originally $220. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, uh, hit the like button and uh, go ahead and uh, tap that subscribe if you want to see uh, more content uh, from my channel. Well, this has been Keith Silva Sr. with the uh, Power XL air fryer results, putting it through a test of how it cooks my favorite meat, the pork steak. All right, everybody. Until next time, take care of yourselves and everyone else. Peace out, everybody.